Who is Jesus Christ? This question has echoed through the centuries, captivating hearts and minds alike. In the Gospel of Mark, we find a powerful moment that reveals his true nature. Picture the scene, a violent storm rages on the Sea of Galilee, threatening to capsize the disciples' boat. With a mere command, Jesus calms the tempest, leaving his followers in awe. They ask, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Mark 4 verse 41 This miraculous act demonstrates Christ's authority over nature itself. In Luke's Gospel, we encounter another revealing moment when Jesus forgives a woman's sins. The onlookers wonder, who is this who even forgives sins? Luke 7 verse 49 These accounts paint a picture of Jesus as more than just a man, he is the embodiment of divine power and mercy. His ability to control the elements and forgive sins points to his unique identity as the Son of God. As we reflect on these passages, we're invited to ponder, who is Jesus to us personally? How does his identity shape our faith and our lives? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3 verse 16. This verse, perhaps the most famous in the Bible, encapsulates the heart of the Christian faith. It reveals Jesus as the Son of God, sent to earth out of divine love. This profound truth sets Christianity apart from all other religions. God's love for humanity is so immense that he was willing to sacrifice his own Son for our salvation. Jesus, as the Son of God, bridges the gap between the divine and the human. He embodies both the fullness of God and the perfection of humanity. Through his life, death, and resurrection, Jesus fulfills God's plan for redemption. His status as God's Son gives weight to his teachings and authority to his actions. It's through Jesus that we can truly know the Father's heart. As the Son of God, Jesus invites us into a familial relationship with the Creator of the universe. This incredible truth offers us hope, purpose, and a sense of belonging in God's eternal family. While Jesus is divine, he is also fully human, a concept known as the Incarnation. Jesus often referred to himself as the Son of Man, emphasizing his human nature. In Matthew 8 verse 20, he says, Foxes have dens and birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. This statement reveals Jesus' experience of human vulnerability and hardship. He knew what it meant to be tired, hungry, and homeless. Yet, his humanity doesn't diminish his divine authority. In John 5 verses 26-27, Jesus declares, For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to judge because he is the Son of Man. This passage beautifully intertwines Jesus' human and divine natures. As the Son of Man, Jesus can relate to our struggles and temptations. He understands our pain, our joys, and our fears. His humanity makes him approachable and his teachings relatable. At the same time, his divine nature empowers him to offer us true hope and salvation. In Jesus, we find a perfect mediator between God and humanity, one who understands both perspectives fully. Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. These powerful words, spoken by John the Baptist in John 1 verse 29, introduce us to another crucial aspect of Jesus' identity. The image of Jesus as the Lamb of God is deeply rooted in Old Testament symbolism. It harkens back to the Passover Lamb, whose blood protected the Israelites from death in Egypt. This metaphor speaks of sacrifice, innocence, and redemption. Jesus, as the Lamb of God, becomes the ultimate sacrifice for humanity's sins. His death on the cross fulfills all the Old Testament prophecies and sacrificial systems. Unlike the repetitive animal sacrifices of old, Jesus' sacrifice is once and for all. His blood, like that of the Passover lamb, protects us from spiritual death and grants us eternal life. The concept of Jesus as the Lamb of God also emphasizes his meekness and humility. Despite his divine power, he willingly laid down his life for us. This sacrificial love forms the cornerstone of Christian faith and inspires us to live lives of selfless service. As we contemplate Jesus as the Lamb of God, we're reminded of the immense cost of our salvation and the depth of God's love for us. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Romans 8 verse 34 This powerful statement from Paul's letter to the Romans encapsulates a fundamental truth of Christianity. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. His victory over death is not just a historical event, but a present reality that impacts our lives today. Jesus himself declared, 
I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. John 11 verse 25. This bold claim sets Christianity apart from all other belief systems. It offers hope beyond the grave and meaning to our earthly existence. Jesus' resurrection proves his power over death and validates all his teachings and promises. It assures us that our faith is not in vain and that we too will one day be resurrected. As the source of life, Jesus offers us not just existence, but abundant life filled with purpose, joy, and eternal significance. His resurrection power is available to us now, enabling us to overcome sin and live in newness of life. In Christ, we find the strength to face life's challenges and the assurance of eternal life beyond this world. In a world offering countless paths to enlightenment and salvation, Christianity makes a bold and exclusive claim, Jesus Christ is the only Savior. This truth is rooted in the very meaning of His name. In Matthew 1 verse 21, an angel tells Joseph, You are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. The name Jesus, derived from the Hebrew Yeshua, literally means Yahweh saves. This divine appointment sets Jesus apart as the designated Savior. The exclusivity of Christ's saving role is further emphasized in Acts 4 verse 12, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. This unequivocal statement challenges our pluralistic society but also offers incredible hope. It means that no one is beyond the reach of God's saving grace. Jesus' role as the only Savior stems from His unique identity as both fully God and fully man. Only He could bridge the gap between a holy God and sinful humanity. His perfect life, sacrificial death, and triumphant resurrection provide the only sufficient payment for our sins. While this truth may seem narrow, it's actually incredibly inclusive. Salvation is offered freely to all who believe, regardless of background or past mistakes. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, 1 Timothy 2 verse 5. This powerful verse introduces us to another crucial aspect of Jesus' identity. He is the sole mediator between God and humanity. In ancient times, priests served as mediators, offering sacrifices to bridge the gap between a holy God and sinful people. Jesus, however, serves as the perfect and final mediator. His role as mediator is unique because he fully represents both parties. He is both fully God and fully human. As God, he perfectly represents the Father's holiness and love. As man, he understands our weaknesses and struggles. Through his life, death, and resurrection, Jesus reconciles us to God, removing the barrier of sin that separated us. His mediation is not a one-time event but an ongoing ministry. Even now, he intercedes for us at the right hand of the Father. This truth means we can approach God directly through Christ, without need for any other intermediary. It assures us of God's accessibility and His desire for a personal relationship with each of us. Jesus' role as mediator offers us confidence in prayer and hope in our spiritual journey. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down His life for the sheep, John 10 verse 11. With these words, Jesus presents Himself as the Good Shepherd, a metaphor rich with meaning in biblical tradition. This image evokes Psalm 23, where God is portrayed as a shepherd who provides, protects, and guides his people. By identifying as the Good Shepherd, Jesus claims this divine role for himself. He emphasizes his personal care for each of his followers, knowing them by name and leading them to abundant life. The Good Shepherd's love is sacrificial. He's willing to lay down his life for his sheep. This foreshadows Jesus' ultimate sacrifice on the cross for our salvation. Unlike hired hands who flee in the face of danger, Jesus remains faithful and protective of his flock. He seeks out the lost and brings them safely into his fold. As the Good Shepherd, Jesus offers comfort in times of trouble and guidance in moments of confusion. He provides spiritual nourishment and leads us to green pastures and quiet waters of the soul. This metaphor invites us to trust Jesus completely, following his voice amidst the noise of the world. In him, we find security, belonging, and purpose. As we conclude our journey exploring the multifaceted identity of Jesus Christ, we're left in awe of his magnificence and relevance to our lives today. We've seen him as the Son of God, fully divine yet also fully human as the Son of Man. We've recognized him as the Lamb of God, whose sacrifice brings redemption, and as the resurrection and the life, offering hope beyond the grave. We've understood his unique role as the only Savior and mediator between God and humanity. 
and we've been comforted by his identity as the Good Shepherd, who cares for us personally and sacrificially. These truths are not mere theological concepts but life-changing realities that can transform our existence. They offer us hope and despair, purpose and confusion, and love in a world often marked by indifference. As we reflect on who Jesus is, we're invited to respond, to place our trust in Him, to follow His teachings, and to experience the abundant life He offers. May the truths we've explored today deepen your faith, strengthen your resolve, and inspire you to live a life that reflects the love and grace of Jesus Christ. Remember, in Christ, you are loved, you are valued, and you have a divine purpose. Go forth and live in the light of these transformative truths.